Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about three modules today which are almost similar in function. The first one is SW1801 which is a vibration or shock sensor, this is it. The second one is 801S that is also a vibration sensor and the third one is KY031, it's a tap or knock sensor. All these three modules are same in function, so we thought of making a video with these three together. So we will learn about all these modules one by one. Let us begin with SW1801. The SW1801 is used to detect vibration. The sensor has a small spring inside a metal tube. Here is the spring inside this metal tube. When the sensor vibrates, the spring hits the metal tube and the sensor will be activated. This sensor has two outputs, one digital and one analog. By default, the analog output is 1031 and the digital output is high. When the sensor vibrates, the digital output changes from high to low and the analog output changes from 1023 to 0. So, this is an active low module. In the normal state, the output remains high and when it detects a tap or vibration, the output becomes low. Here you can see the pinout diagram of this module. The first pin is analog output, the second pin is digital output, the third pin is ground and the fourth pin is VCC. Here we have given the circuit diagram. We have given power from an Arduino from the 5 volt pin to the VCC pin of the module from the ground pin to the ground pin of the module and the analog output pin to the analog pin 0 of the Arduino and the digital output pin to pin number 7. We have shown here in pin number 7 but we can connect it to any digital input pin. So this is the circuit diagram. Now we will see the practical demonstration of this sensor. So this is the prototype that we have built based on the circuit. We have connected all the four wires to the Arduino. This is the main shock sensor or tap sensor or the vibration sensor, what you call it. Here is the LM393IC that is using as a comparator to check the status when this is open or close. And here is the potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity of the shock or vibration. If we turn it anti-clockwise, the sensitivity will decrease and if we turn it clockwise, the sensitivity will increase. And we have connected one LED parallel to the built-in LED of the Arduino board. It is connected via a series resistor to limit the current to the LED. Now we will go to the Arduino sketch. We will see the Arduino sketch. Then we will upload the sketch and see the output. So, here is our Arduino sketch. We have taken a few variables for using in the code. Now in the setup section, we have initiated the serial communication to see the output and we have set the pin mode of the built-in LED to output. Now in the loop section, we have used a millis function. This millis function is used to keep the built-in LED turned on for 5 seconds after it receives a shock or a vibration. And when it receives a shock, the digital output becomes zero. The serial monitor will show the intensity of the shock and the built-in LED will turn on high. Then after 5 seconds, it will turn off. But the sensor will keep working as we have used millis function. So very simple code. Now we will upload it to the Arduino and see its function. Let's connect the Arduino with the computer. And now we are going to upload the sketch. Let's upload it. And we are making the screen half and half so that you can see the serial monitor as well as the circuit output. Now we are tapping on the sensor. See the tap is detected. This LED is glowing for a few seconds and in the serial monitor it's showing tap or vibration detected. One second I am showing you. I am tapping on the module. It's turning on for a few seconds and here it's showing tap or vibration detected and with the intensity of the vibration. So every time it detects a tap, it will turn on the LED and it will show in the serial monitor the intensity of the tap. Now let's see its uh, sensitivity. If we tap on the breadboard, what happens? Does it work? See, I am tapping on the breadboard, so it's vibrating, but it does not sense the vibration. If I shake the module, it detects the vibration. If I tap on it, it detects the vibration. So this module, we can say it's not very sensitive. It only detects when this module vibrates. It does not detect the nearby vibration. I'm tapping on the breadboard. It's not turning on. But when I touched it, it detected the vibration.
if I show you in the full screen you see I am tapping it with a screwdriver it does not detect the vibration at all but if I touch it it detects the vibration and the LED turns on so this way this module detects vibration or shock and gives output both in digital and analog mode this module is not very costly it costs within uh, one dollar maybe and its sensitivity is also not that high so we can use it for any hobby project or somewhere the, where the tap or shock is a bit intense we can use this module so we are done with the demonstration of the SW1801 tap or vibration module now it's time for the next module next we are going to discuss about 801s vibration sensor the 801s vibration or shock sensor module is intended to identify vibration or shock it is made up of conductive substance encircling a metal spring the conductive material contacts the sensor's leads when the spring moves in response to a vibration or shock this sensor has one digital output by default the digital output is low when the sensor vibrates the digital output changes from low to high this is the module you can see in the picture and there are three pins in this module the first one is ground second one is digital out and third one is 5 volt or vcc pin we have given the circuit diagram here we have given 5 volt from the 5 volt pin of the arduino we have given the negative power supply from the ground pin of the arduino and connected the digital out pin to the digital pin 2 of the arduino so this is the circuit diagram now let us see the practical demonstration of this module now this is the arduino sketch of the 801s module here also we have taken the few variables for using in the program now we are initiating the serial communication declared the pin mode and as it is an active high module so when the digital out is high then we have printed in the serial the tap or vibration detected turning on the built-in led and waiting for 200 millisecond to detect the next tap and this function turns off the led after a few seconds so let's move on to half and half display now we are uploading the sketch sketch uploaded and we will see this module in function so when we simply tap this module this LED turns for a few second and here in the serial monitor if we look at if we tap here it shows tap or vibration detected this module seems to be more sensitive than the previous module you see if I tap this board also this module detects the vibration and turns on this LED simply tapping the breadboard also activates the sensor so this one is very sensitive in comparison with the previous module showing it in the full screen simply tap on the board and this module activates so this module is more sensitive we can see and this is a bit costlier than the previous module also this one costs around three dollar maybe so we can use it in those projects where the sensitivity is high here is a potentiometer this potentiometer adjusts the sensitivity of this module if we turn anti-clockwise the sensitivity increases and if we turn clockwise the sensitivity decreases and this is the main sensor that detects the tap or vibration and here a LM393 comparator IC is used which is detecting the signal from the sensor and converting it to the electric signal so this is the practical demonstration of 801s module if you have any question please ask me in the comments I'll try to answer your questions now moving on to the next sensor this is the third module in the discussion today it's a KY031 knock or tap sensor a knock sensor or a vibration tap sensor is simple device that detects vibration or shocks from knocking or tapping it it is basically an electronic switch which is normally open when it detects any shock or vibrations it closes for that moment and returns back to its default open position this sensor has one output by default the digital output is high when the sensor detects tap the digital output changes from high to low this is the tap sensor you can see you can also see through the casing the spring inside it and there are three pins one is the output pin the second pin is the 5 volt pin and the third pin is the ground pin we have also given the circuit diagram here we have given 5 volt and ground from the 5 volt pin and ground pin of the arduino and the output pin is connected to the digital pin 3 of the arduino so this is the circuit diagram in the previous two modules there are some other circuits with a sensor but this module does not have any other circuitry within it it only has a pull up resistor that keeps the output high when the device is inactive now let's see the practical demonstration of this module 
Here is the Arduino sketch for KY031 module. It is uh, pretty similar with the 1801 module. Only difference is it does not have any analog output. It has digital output only. So for the digital output, we have detected it when the digital out is zero. We are checking that because it's an active low module. So without any tap or vibration, it remains high. And whenever it detects any tap or vibration, the output becomes zero. So when it detects any tap or vibration, we have turned on the LED for a few seconds. Let's upload the sketch and we are going to half and half display. Turning on the serial monitor and we will now see what happens with this module. Now when we give a tap to this, the LED turns on. So it detects a tap, it works. Every time it detects a tap, this LED turns on and here in the serial monitor also we can see the tap or vibration detected. But let's see if it is sensitive or not. We are tapping the breadboard. It's not detecting the tap. So whenever we tap on the module, it works then only. So it's not that much sensitive in comparison with the 801S. This is the main tap sensor. I hope you can see if I bring it closer, it will be easier for you to see. This is the main tap sensor. And this module does not have any other circuitry in it. The tap sensor itself works as a switch and it has a pull up resistor. So it's making the device active low. By default, the output is high. And when it detects a tap or vibration, the output becomes low. This module is also very cheap. It comes around 0.75 dollar or something. We can use this module when a hard knock or tap is to be detected. It cannot be used in case of sensitive knocks or taps. Let me show you once in the full screen. I'm tapping it. It's working. But I'm tapping on the breadboard or I'm just uh, shaking it, giving it a vibration. It does not work. So these are the three modules that we have seen the demonstration today. If you have any question or confusion about this, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll definitely try to answer your questions. With this, I am concluding here today. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel RG Innovations. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time. Thank you.